man that key is master key. Jesus is one that has that master key. You are going to receive a favor today that will last you a lifetime. You must be born again. You must be born again. There is somebody that has that key. His master key. Jesus is one that has that master key. You are going to receive a favor today that will last you a lifetime. You must be born again. You must be born again. There is somebody that has that key. His master key. Jesus is one that has that master key. You are going to receive a favor today that will last you a lifetime. You must be born again. You must be born again. There is somebody that has that key. His master key. Jesus is one that has that master key. You are going to receive a favor today that will last you a lifetime. You must be born again. You must be born again. There is somebody that has that key. His master key. Jesus is one that has that master key. You are going to receive a favor today that will last you a lifetime. You must be born again. You must be born again. There is somebody that has that key. His master key, Jesus, is the one that has that master key. You are going to receive a favor today that will last you a lifetime. You must be born again. You must be born again. There is somebody that has that key. His master key, Jesus, is the one that has that master key. Hello, good morning, everybody. We want to welcome every one of us into this uh, wonderful time of fellowship. This is Destiny Church, uh, London, coming your way this morning with the word of the Lord, because this month is the month of November. And this is another moment of a Destiny Molding Sunday service coming your way from Destiny Church, London. We have all, all our members. We have people on Facebook Live. We have those on Zoom. We have those that will watch on our YouTube, YouTube TV later. And I'm very delighted that we are here today. And then um, I uh, also have my wife here. She's the resident pastor of uh, the London church. Uh, my name is Pastor Adibo. <laughs> the founding pastor of the London church in Washington DC. And please your name. Hello, sir. Yes, she's our pastor. You are welcome to this program. And I want to welcome all our viewers around the world. I believe that God has a word for us this morning. She will take us to open up the prayer for today. In this month of wisdom for 11 hour miracles, people have been, we have been hearing amazing testimony of only what the hand of God can do. To him be the glory. And today we'll be going deeper into the subject of wisdom. And I believe by the end of this service, the spirit of wisdom will rest upon you mm. in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. So let's take us in open prayer. Let's pray. Yeah. Father, we want to thank you. We want to appreciate you for another new day. Yeah. You say your mercies are new every morning. Yeah. We are set for your word. We are set to be blessed. Lord, let your word change our life. Let yeah. your word take us to another level in you. Yeah. Holy Spirit, have your way this morning. Yes, in Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 So I want to thank all of us that are here. I believe that God has a word for every one of us. 
and I believe that we will not miss out of what God has in store for us. But please help us share this message, uh, help us share it on your page. I want to thank all of us that have been sharing the message. I appreciate all our members uh, here in, in, in London. And please, what I wanted to do for me today uh, is to make comment. Uh, tell us what you are getting by making comment uh, on the on the on the platform, so that it can be an interactive time. Please help us share this message with your friends, mm -hmm. because I believe there are people that need the message that the world that God has put in our in our lives today. And I believe somebody is not is going to attend this program that you invite them, and they will thank you for inviting them. So please invite your friends, let them know that, uh, the, the, that we are here again for another period of encounter with God's word. And I believe that the spirit of God is going to move in this program to bring glory to Jesus. Mm -hmm. The Holy Ghost will move in this service and on overturn somebody's mountain. The Holy Ghost will move in this service and bring glory to Jesus Amen. in the life of somebody here Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I know that you will not leave this program the same way you came Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So uh, we are talking today on tapping into the mighty works of wisdom. The Bible spoke of, uh, it said in Matthew chapter 13, verse 54, and the same thing, Mark says, verse 2, he said, where has this man, this wisdom, and mighty works? So we notice that wisdom is expressed in works, not in words. He didn't say, where has this man, this, this wisdom, and mighty words? In fact, under, 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 call it, what wisdom is this? <laughs> There's a message called what wisdom, <laughs> what wisdom is this? And that was, is this thing you are doing wisdom? What wisdom is this that is given to him? So wisdom is not an achievement, an endowment. What wisdom is this that is given? So wisdom is given and mighty works. The proof of divine wisdom is the works not the words. Somebody have said, when they come to wisdom, the word well done is stronger than the word well said. Because wisdom is in doings, it's not in words. That's when between an intelligent person and a wise person. Wise people are doers. Intelligent people can know so much and don't do it. So it is not what you know that make you wise. It is what you do with what you know. That is why we are talking about how wisdom brings about mighty works in our life. So it's over to you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I think wisdom is a very key Hallelujah. point that we all need as God's people. That's why Psalm says in nine, uh, Psalms 90, Verse 12, he said, teach us to number our days yes. that we may apply our heart to wisdom. Yes. You know, we are not here on this planet forever. Mm. We are here for a time. And every time, the time we spend here, we are either applying our life, applying wisdom to our life, or we are working in foolishness. Amen. We, we, are not, we can't live in a vacuum. We can't live in a, in a vacuum. You either work in wisdom or work in foolishness. But, you know, when you work in wisdom, you gain. Amen. When you walk in foolishness, you lose. Amen. But it's God's desire for every one of us to walk in divine wisdom. Amen. Because we, de we belong to God. Amen. Because he is the most wisest God. Amen. And it's a joy of every wise father to see his children walking in divine in wisdom. Amen. Working, winning in life. Amen. You know, making it in life. Amen. Putting the devil where he belongs. So that's why it's a, where do you get this great wisdom, this mighty world, they are referring to Jesus, you know, so it's our inheritance, it's our, 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 we're supposed to benefit from it, and that's the reason why we are going to be looking at the benefit of wisdom, what are this wisdom, why is God so particular that his children should walk in wisdom, because without wisdom, we will live in defeat every day of our life, without wisdom, we will suffer in life, without wisdom, we will walk in, we will lose 
all the time in our life. Mm -hmm. So God wants us to walk in wisdom. They call him the most wisest wisdom. Yes. God, the most wisest God. How can a wise God give birth to foolish children? Mm -hmm. It doesn't match. Mm -hmm. It doesn't match. God wants us to apply wisdom to our life. Teach us to number our days so that we can apply our heart to wisdom. You know, it's very important. And we want to take that journey from the book of Job you know, starting from there, what are the benefits of wisdom? We have been talking about establishing the aspect of character, establishing the other aspect that put us in charge, put us in control, in, in, in charge of situation. But also there are dimension, the mighty works of wisdom that God wants us to walk in. Dimension that, you know, wisdom bring our way. Wisdom does not just make us to walk like defeated fowls, but you make us to walk like victorious believers, you know. And that's the reason why we want to look at this scripture in the book of Proverbs, in the book of Job 28, verse 9. I want us to read that place together. Proverbs, uh, Job 28, verse 9. He said, talking about wisdom, he put his hand on the flame, he overturns the mountain at the root. This wisdom, the benefit of wisdom is it has cap uh, ability, capacity to help you to turn your problem at the root. He turned, he said in that place, he said he turns the mountain at its root. We all understand mountain is not an easy thing to come by. Mountain is not an easy thing, even when they are doing road in the midst of a rock. We see effort, machineries they use to be able to, 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 to make, forcefully make way out of that rock. So if wisdom has that machinery, that power, that force, that capacity to make a way in the rock, I think it's something that we need to look at and embrace it. It means there is no situation that become impossible in the hand of wisdom. Wisdom has answer to every mountainous situation, mm -hmm. to every storm, to every challenges, to every problem. And his works are displayed in mighty works. Yes. By the time he, by the time you allow the wisdom of God to have place in you, the place you will arrive at, everybody will look at you with amazement. Mighty works. Yes. Mighty works. Yes. But we have to embrace it. We have to agree. He said he make a way in the, he turned the problem at his root. He turned problem at his root. And that's the reason why we need wisdom. I don't know what problem you are going through. I don't know what challenge you are going to through, but the Bible makes us to understand that the wisdom of God has the ability and the power to turn the mountain, to, 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 to uproot mountain from his roots. And that's the wisdom we are bringing to you this morning. It's not the wisdom of this world. It's not devilish wisdom. It's wisdom of God that make a way where there is no way. And we see that example in the life of Noah in the book of Genesis chapter five. You know, Genesis chapter five. This is a situation. God was about to do something on the face of the earth. Genesis chapter five, verse 11, he says something there. Genesis 5, 11, God was saying something, I'm about to destroy the earth. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking for someone, I'm going to work in partnership because before I do that, there are people I want to exempt from this destruction. Mm -hmm. And he instructed Noah, let's look at it. Genesis chapter five, verse 11. God will be giving us his wisdom that turned the mountain at their root mm -hmm. through instruction. Mm -hmm. It's not going to come like a magic. He's mm -hmm. going to every of his wisdom that is, tied to mighty works are tied in, in instructions, mm -hmm. are tied in his leading. Mm -hmm. So how much you give attention to God's wisdom this year, how much you give attention to his instruction, determine whether your mountain will be rooted out or it will remain there. Mm -hmm. The Bible says in Genesis chapter five, verse 11, yes. Noah has to cooperate to be able to escape that destruction. Genesis five, verse 11, he says there, he says, so all the days of Enoch, Genesis chapter five, verse, uh, verse 11, verse 14. He says, so all the days of Cain, we are 910. Mm. I'm, look, I'm trying to read that place where the Bible says, God prepare Noah for the end time, for, for, for the plan he has mm. to destroy the earth. Mm. And he asked Noah in a, um, a Genesis six, verse four, Make yourself an ark. Mm -hmm. Go. He, God instructed Noah for good flow, verse 13. And God said to Noah, the ends of all flesh has come mm -hmm. before me. For the earth is filled with violence, mm -hmm. through, with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the ark. 
make yourself an ark. Go part wall, make rooms in the ark and cover it inside and outside with pitch. Amen. The Bible said God was about to do something on the face of the ark and he instructed Noah. He said, make an ark for yourself. The ark is full of violence. It's full Amen. of so many things like what we are seeing today in the, in the world. So many things are going on negatively. God is not happy about it. But he said, I am going to exempt you from this situation. Mm. But you can only be exempted by following my instruction. Mm. That's wisdom. And the Bible says in that Genesis chapter 6, from verse 13, you run down through that place to 14. The Bible says God gave instruction step by step mm. how the ark would be built mm. by Noah. And Noah follow instructions. Noah follow every detail that God gave him. Verse 22. The Bible says verse 22 of that chapter Thou Noah did according to all that God commanded him, so he did. Mm. God instructed Noah, God guide Noah step by step, mm. how he will build that ark, and Noah follows step by step according to what God said. And the Bible says in verse 22 of chapter 6 of Genesis, mm. Noah followed, he did according to what God has commanded. Mm. So how much you do according to what God is instructing you mm. in that situation, determine whether you will escape the problem or you will you know, your problem will be rooted by the, will be uproot or it will remain there. Mm. The Bible says Noah has to follow instruction to escape the destruction. Yes. Noah has to follow the wisdom of God. Mm. At a time, we will all agree it doesn't make sense. Mm. It does not make sense. It's just like the way the beginning of this year, January, nobody see this nobody coronavirus coming. COVID-19 coming. Nobody see the, 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 the dimension Something or the happened. depth Something or the gravity of what this the disease going to cause the earth. Mm. Nobody see it coming. We never see it's going to destroy economic at this dimension. Yes. We never see it's going to make everybody to, to go through lockdown. We, you know, the dimension, the, 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 the volume of his work, we, nobody see it coming. But the Bible makes us to understand in the midst of all this, God is giving instruction to his people. Mm. How much we listen to this instruction determine how much help we obtain. Amen. He said the wisdom of God that turned the mountain at his root yes, by the root. By the root, not, not, not at the leaf. Yes. So it will problem at the root level. And it come through instruction. What could have happened if Noah did not happen to God's instruction? Mm -hmm. He could have been destroyed by with be the part others. Of the destruction. Yes, he could have been destroyed by the others. So his ability to listen to follow instruction make him to escape. Mm -hmm. And verse 7, the Bible said, then the Lord said to Noah, come into the earth, you and all your household. See how acts of obedience, walking in wisdom of God, save Noah and his mm -hmm. entire family. Mm -hmm. There are some instructions God is bringing our way. One step going with the Lord will save a lot of things. Yes. We'll save people that are attached to us. Yes. We'll save our children. Yes. We'll save our finance. Yes. We'll save our, our health. Yes. He said by taking that step that Noah took, following the wisdom of God that looked foolishness, Mm -hmm. to men at that time because there was no rain there was everybody's enjoying themselves yes they are going to their work as normal yes life is going on the way it should there's no proof no proof nothing that is needed and even they say according to the story when he was building some of them are laughing at yeah him. they were laughing at him. like are you okay no what's going on but the Bible says he was following the inner voice. God the prepared the ark before the destruction. Yes. So the wisdom of God is provided before any destruction. Yes, 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 yes. And yes, God yes. is still speaking, even in the midst of this situation, in the midst of our world today, God is speaking to us individually, mm. instructing us to escape disaster, to escape financial destruction, to escape health destruction, to escape life-threatening destruction. And as we hearken to his voice, we will begin to enjoy. The Bible say Noah was able to escape destruction with his household mm. because he followed the simple wisdom of God. Mm. Sometimes this wisdom of God, they are so simple to common sense mm. that if we want to judge it by common sense, we miss it. Mm. We miss it. Because any instruction God is going to give us, he will not stand there explaining everything to you. Mm. It's as we follow him, we discover why God is why asking us. Instruction. Yes. So the wisdom of God is the key. Ability for us to follow instruction will save our life, save our finance and our resources. What are we talking about today? God is still speaking today. Mm -hmm. Looking at the situation of Noah, putting it in our today's situation. Mm -hmm. How many, the Bible says God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Mm -hmm. Coming into the ark of salvation, save you from unrest save you from stress, mm -hmm. save you from confusion. Mm -hmm. But you see so many people are still in the value of indecision. Mm -hmm. 
even with all this problem going on, somebody is still not making their mind to know that there is creator up there. Mm. There is a maker up there. Mm. There is Jehovah that is controlling the spinning, the situation mm. around us. And today still people are dragging their feet to give their life to Christ. Mm. Just like the way God was telling Noah, what if Noah did not create that act? He could have been destroyed by others. Mm. But Jesus is that act for us to come in. Amen. If we receive Jesus, we will have rest. Amen. If we receive Jesus, we will have peace. He said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Mm. That's the act of safety. Mm. Only begotten son. Whosoever believe in him shall not perish. Amen. Shall not perish. Amen. So when you come to Jesus, no matter what the baggage is you come to, you, to him with, if you receive him into your life, he begins to take off that baggage of sickness, that baggage of marital problem, mm. that baggage of illness. He take them off your back. Mm. But the first thing he offers to you when you come to him is your salvation first. Mm. Because your salvation will, every other thing is a byproduct of your relationship with him. It's a byproduct of his, your salvation. Mm. So coming to Jesus is like coming into that ark, mm. the place of safety. And we need it more than ever now that the world is going, you know, different direction. But when we come to Jesus, there is safety. Mm. When we come to Jesus, there is peace. And everything you are struggling out there to try to achieve by yourself, you will discover just simple one step of hacking to his instruction of receiving him into your life. Mm. He take care of all other parts of your life. Amen. Give him that your life and every department of your life will come under control. Amen. Will come under control. Amen. And that's why we say that the, 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 the wisdom of God has ability to turn the mountain by its root. Mm. You are battling with generational cause, you are fighting with career problems. Everywhere you go, you suffer rejection. Mm. One step will lead to other open doors. Mm. Salvation first. Mm. If you give your life to Christ, you amend your relationship with your maker, every other thing will fall in part. Mm. For that's why when people come for healing, Jesus offer them, you have been forgiven first. You have been forgiven first because he know if they are safe, every other area of their life will take yes, control. If there is forgiveness of your sin, there will be healing of your sickness. Healing of the sickness. Who he who forgiven all thy iniquity and healed all thy diseases. So it's a divine order. So the, the forgiveness always precedes healing. Amen. Not, not, not the other way around. So it's similar to it talks about when you have people that maybe offend you, when you forgive them, mm. you have received your healing. Amen. Healing begins with forgiveness. It's an order. So you cannot, if you have been forgiven right now, you have been forgiven, Jesus has forgiven you your sin, mm. then no devil in hell can hold you from your healing. Amen. These are the wisdom. Amen. When you have been forgiven, when you have this understanding, say, who forgave it all thy iniquity and heal it all that yes. not few, not few. So if he has forgiven all your iniquity, mm. all your sin, you are entitled to all healing. Amen. So if you are suffering from any kind of affliction right now, those afflictions, they are illegal. Mm. They are illegal. They, they are, they are, uh, how will I call it? They are, um, they need to be deported. Mm. And they are illegal migrants. They are illegal occupants. Mm. And as I speak right now, I command them to be chased out in Jesus' Amen. name. If you have this understanding, because what is revealed is what is released. Wisdom is walking in the revealed ways of God. Once it is revealed, it is released. Amen. What am I saying here? When you believe what he has revealed, mm. by acting on it, then you release it. Anytime God reveals something, at that same point is releasing that thing. Amen. And it is released when you act on it. Mm. That's what makes wisdom a battle axe. Mm. It's a weapon. So wisdom is better than the weapons of war. Mm. Wisdom is a force that when it's operational, 
a produce result on the earth. Mm -hmm. Wisdom is heaven's strategy for generating a result on the earth. Mm -hmm. That is heaven's approach to cancel reproach. Mm -hmm. And that is what we saw this wisdom when it was at work in Abraham. He knew what to do to be able to bring fatted cows. Mm -hmm. When it was at work in Isaac, Isaac knew what to do to get water from the ground to water his harvest. When that wisdom was operational in Jacob, he knew what to do to be able to bring cattles with many colors mm. to beat Laban. In other words, in more or less, that kind of genetic engineering wisdom mm. that was revealed to him in the dream by the angel. Angel revealed that to him in the dream. So wisdom is no mental obsession. It's not how much you cram something. Wisdom is revealed. Wisdom is God revealed scriptural solution to a problem. Wisdom is God's revealed scriptural approach to solving a problem. And that's why when you act on it, you release it. Wisdom is released at the point of acting. And that is why the Bible make it very clear. They say, how oh, is a whole depth of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are they? Romans chapter 11, 33. In other words, the wisdom of God is infinite. Mm. So we can make progress in it. There is no end to it. That's why we are seeking more of this wisdom. And I can tell you the wisdom that we have right now, I can say sometimes the wisdom we are operating with at the moment is not enough to handle the challenges of tomorrow. That is why we are seeking more of this wisdom. Because wisdom we are talking about is not from above, it's from above. When it's operational inside you, it puts you above. Mm -hmm. When wisdom of this, it puts you above the wisdom of this world, that if you lay side by side, the wisdom of this world is foolishness. Mm -hmm. And that is what we are saying here, that when the wisdom of God is at work, it will put you above. Mm -hmm. Now, you cannot connect to this wisdom and be ordinary. Understand that whatever you and I have now is not adequate for the challenges of tomorrow. Mm. That's why we need to enter into the fullness of this mystery. This mystery of wisdom will put you in mastery over the challenges of life. Remember, Jesus gathered wisdom for 30 years before he asked for power. The first manifestation of divinity in Jesus was wisdom, not power. That's why they call him the wisdom and the power of God. And I want to let you know, if you are born again, Jesus is divine. We are the branches. The same thing that flow in the vine is what flow in the branches. Mm -hmm. If Jesus is the wisdom and the power of God, and you are a branches, you also have inside you wisdom and the power of God. And that is why when it comes to wisdom, you look inside, not you look outside. Because it's something that is born inside our recreated spirit is there. And that is why we are believing God for this wisdom that will generate mighty works in your life, that will bring exploit and results. Amen. And then just like what you said, you know, the wisdom enabled us to turn the mountain by their roots. And we have this example of Jacob, how he was able to do this invention through the inspiration, through the direction of God's wisdom. Also, we discover like the situation of Noah, how he was able, to, wisdom can deliver us from destruction and death, you know, when we apply our heart to wisdom. So the wisdom is powerful, but they are revealed by his spirit. Mm. They are revealed in second right. Corinthians, is this second Corinthians? First Sometimes. Corinthians 2.10. 2, 10, 2, 10. He said, these things are revealed by his spirit. Yes. You know, the deep things of God, there are deep things of God that belong to us, but you cannot search it by your mental understanding, by your common sense. Mm. They are searched by the spirit of God. The spirit of God brings it to the surface for us mm. and give us the understanding to be able to apply them to our life. Mm. So the power of 
wisdom of God is to be able to walk in partnership with his Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. to guide us, to bring those things. And he has different way of communicating to us mm -hmm. to walk in that wisdom. Mm -hmm. He can reveal it through dream. He mm -hmm. can reveal it so many, through many ways, mm -hmm. you know. So for us to uh, recognize that leading, to recognize that leading, to walk in that wisdom, the Bible makes us to understand we see differently. Some people see great things, some people don't see it. It all depends how we are connected with the power of the Holy Spirit to guide us in walking in divine wisdom. Mm -hmm. So when we walk in divine wisdom, we enjoy a lot. We enjoy a lot. Other people, the wisdom of God is there, but they cannot see. Mm -hmm. So the Holy Spirit has to connect our heart with the wisdom of God. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit, he said, he said, it's not by power, it's not by might, it's by my spirit. Mm -hmm. To be able to recognize that this is the way of God to walk in it is the help of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. To be able to understand that this is what God wants me to do, it will take the help of the Holy Spirit mm. to empower us to pass to 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 to, to pass over the, the the natural realm to begin to walk in the other dimension of supernatural realm. Mm. Jesus did all his, the accomplishment of Jesus on the earth. He didn't walk by sight. Mm. He walked by divine connection of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So I think by the power of the Holy Spirit, we can escape by the power of the Holy Spirit, guiding us in wisdom. We can escape death and destruction. Mm -hmm. We can turn our mountain by the road. Mm -hmm. You know, we can be able to see things that other people are not seeing mm -hmm. to lead us in that part of victory Amen. in Jesus name. Amen. So I want us to know, like we said, wisdom does not express itself in mighty words, but in mighty works. It is not in the heaviness of your speech that determines your wisdom, but in the heaviness of the proof you command. There must be yearning on our inside for God's wisdom, because it is the original wisdom that comes from him. It is the winning wisdom. It will turn our life around without any struggle or sweat. Like we have, been, we have said it, that the source of wisdom comes from the word of God, Matthew 7, 24 to 27. Mm -hmm. So whatever you says of mine and do it mm -hmm. shall be likened to a wise man. Mm -hmm. So every man's wisdom is expressed by his words. And we can see that the Bible is an expression of God's wisdom. And that is why we see here, the Bible says in Colossians 1, chapter 2, 1 to 3, mm -hmm. it says, in him is hid all the treasure of wisdom and knowledge. Colossians 2, 3. So God's word is the source of wisdom and divine wisdom bank. Now, in the word of God is hidden all the treasure of wisdom and knowledge. So wisdom of family life, wisdom for career success, wisdom for academic success, wisdom for peaceful relationship, they are all rooted in this. Mm -hmm. Like we say is that it is when we open ourselves to what the word of God says, that bring us to an encounter of wisdom. Mm. That's why we say, what does this wisdom offer? Number one, wisdom of God has power to, to have power over destruction and death. Mm. We see it in, in Job 28, 22. Say death and destruction says, it's not in me. Now, now what is going on right now, on the air right now, COVID-19 is bringing out so much destruction and death. The wisdom of God can overturn it. Mm -hmm. There is, there is, there is Mr. COVID in town, all over the whole place, without visa and passport, going about killing people, bringing untold destruction and death. But wisdom can overturn it. Mm -hmm. It makes you indestructible. Mm -hmm. In the face of it, fire loses its power. Mm -hmm. In the face of wisdom, no mountain in your life that the wisdom of God cannot level. Mm -hmm. It is superior to every mountain in life. I want us to know, if there's any harassment of death and destruction mm -hmm. in your life, we prophesy to you right now mm -hmm. that destruction and looming death is overturned as I speak in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. That that looming death, mm -hmm. death threat around you, I see it overturned in Jesus' name. Amen. You will not be a victim of destruction. Amen. You will not be a victim of death. Amen. Death will not enter your house. Amen. With the wisdom of God, God Bible says wisdom is a defense. That wisdom to work in defense. Mm -hmm. That in this season, 
why others are being infected you are going to be shielded Amen. why others are being infected you are going to be you are going to be you are going to be defended Amen. you will not be a victim of covid-19 you will not end up in the hospital Amen. you will not end up in intensive Amen. care in the name of jesus christ Amen. you might begin to tell us about the effect of this wisdom and i know with this wisdom is what the bible says guarantee long life mm. and that is why you cannot be wise and die before your time mm. you cannot be wise and die before your time it prolong life the bible says it put forth its hand over the mountain and overturn in job 28 verse, verse, verse 9 mm. verse 10 it cut out channels in the rock his eyes see every precious things mm. it means it cut out it cut mm. it, it cuts out rivers I don't know, it makes a way where there's no way mm. the most important place to get water from should not be the rock mm. but the wisdom will pull water out of the rock it has no regard for dryness the wisdom of god will give you more than enough to drink it makes river available for you it brings result in a hard place that what he's saying is i see every precious thing and that thing is delivers you need to see what others are not seeing in the Bible. This, this wisdom will open your eyes to secret when others are seeing stories. Mm. Like what you said, the Bible makes us to understand that by the wisdom of God, we are able to turn the mountain by its rule, looking at different circumstances in our life that may look impossible, like just the situation that happened to the children of Israel in first King. In Second Kings 7 verse 1, the Bible said they were at siege, they are under a siege, you know, and the, the, the word came, Elisha came with the word and said by tomorrow, our story, our situation will change, there will be abundance, mm. you know, these are impossible situations. Mm. The nation was under a siege, it was impossible, I don't know what situation you are in, maybe it's an impossible situation, you have lost your job, things are not working, things are falling apart on every side, and it's very clear by every calculation logistic and whatsoever there is no way out of this situation but the bible makes us to understand the word came from the lord he said this is the word from the lord and when that word was released that word of wisdom was released somebody stand up and say even god opened the window it will not happen it's not possible but god to make it it can happen he used things that are not significant mm -hmm. the, 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 the lepers to carry out that mission mm -hmm. to bring that prophecy to come to pass. Mm. The Bible said this lepers take their take their the rigs to go into the camp of the enemy. And that's how God went before them to make things to happen. What are we trying to say? There are difficult circumstances that may come to our way. But when God give the instruction, believe me, it was going to happen. Mm. He was going to turn that situation around. The word of God is coming to you this morning. There is no situation that is hard for the wisdom of God to, to do. There's no situation that is too hard for the wisdom of God to, to, to not to turn around. It can to be turned around. If people like Elizabeth can carry their baby, mm. people like Mary can carry their baby, you know, it's something to tell us that the wisdom of God, the word of God is wrapped, the wisdom of God is wrapped in his word. Mm. And when that word is released to you, you don't need to crack it with your normal sense. All you need to embrace it because that wisdom has the ability to turn the mountain by its root to turn the mountain by its root. Financial abundance is coming your way. Amen. There will be a way again. He Amen. said he make a way where there is no way. Amen. The God that part the Red Sea for the children of Israel to go through, Amen. the same God will make a way in the midst of that Amen. He will make a way in the midst of that Amen. That challenge, you are standing in the midst of it. You don't know where to turn, what mm. to do, mm. who to run to for mm. help. God is going to make a way for you. Amen. He's, a light in, he's a light in the midst of a tunnel. Yes. He will make you to see light. Amen. In that tunnel. Amen. And that light is coming in the name of Jesus. Amen. God will be giving you instruction, listening to your inner voice, mm. to the inner voice. Mm. Holy Spirit will He will not speak to you as a general assembly. Mm. He will be instructing you specifically in line with your challenges. Mm. Don't compare your challenge with any other person. Yes. Listen to what the Holy Spirit will be telling you mm. because that's your way of exit out of your problem. Amen. The word came and the Elisha prophesied over the land. Mm. And those that doubt it, those that try to challenge it, 
they were they were not they didn't partake of that blessing yes so don't challenge the word of god it may be impossible but god can turn that mountain by his root amen through instruction amen. through leading of the holy spirit amen. and as you hear him i see you coming out of your problem in the name of jesus amen every impossibility is turning to possible to is turning to, po po to, to possibility in your life in the name of jesus amen the god that make a way in the red sea will make a way for amen you. the god that bring light in the midst of darkness will bring light amen Amen. The God that have mercy, that make Noah to find grace on his side, will make you to find grace. Amen. He will exempt you from that trouble. Amen. He will exempt your family. Amen. He will deliver you Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Like we have been told that every mountain in your life right now shall be overturned in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. I command every mountain that you are facing right now to be overturned. Amen. I release the wisdom of God into that mountain in your body, Amen. into that mountain in your career. Yes, I command that mountain to be overturned. Amen. I command that mountain to be overturned. He said, if thou shalt say to this mountain, Amen. be thou removed and be cast yonder. Yes. He said, if you believe in your heart and will not doubt, mm. you shall have what you say. Yes. I want you where you are right now begin to speak to that mountain that you are facing right now. Open your mouth and speak to that mountain. Don't cry before the mountain. Speak to that mountain. Maybe it's a growth in your body. Speak to that growth in your body. Maybe it's a growth on your head. Speak to that thing right now. Speak to that career of yours. Speak to that challenges. Open your mouth and speak. He said, I'll give you a mouth and a wisdom with which your end will not be to gazing or resist. Open your mouth yes. and speak. Yes. Your victory is in your mouth. It says, no weapon formed against you shall Amen. prosper. Amen. Every tongue that rises up against you, thou shall condemn. Amen. Open your mouth and condemn that challenge. Open your mouth and condemn, including those things you are sensing, those things you are fearing. Begin to speak against it. The way to be able to come over death is to speak against them. Speak against what you fear. Begin to declare. Declare, but begin to open your mouth and begin to declare, begin to say it. I will not die, but live to declare the works of God in this 11th hour. I will partake of my own miracles in the name of Jesus Christ. In this season, I will not go empty handed. This year will end better than the beginning. I am breaking through impossible barrier. I am breaking through impossible barrier in the name of Jesus. I am breaking through impossible barriers in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to declare. Speak to that mountain. Speak to that mountain. Speak to that mountain. Nobody will speak for you. Please speak to it. Say to thou mountain, you must go in the name of Jesus. My story must change. I will not end this year empty and Oh, I'm going to be a candidate of the eleventh hour in the name of Jesus. Magato Bracata, a Yeketa Leketa, O Beleketa Leketa, O Beleketa Leketa. I declare my way forward. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Just as before we begin to round up, the Bible says, His eyes sees every precious thing. I want to let you know that wisdom of God sees every precious thing. Understand very well this thing that has been said. God is not exactly when he see us crying. I want to know if you see precious things in the word of God, you will experience precious things. Mm. Because there is a covenant law that stipulates that as far as your eyes can see, shall be given unto you. So wisdom see only precious things. Mm. And so you can see that, I want to let you know that it is what you see that you see. Others are seeing gloom backwardness, shut down in the midst of this COVID-19. Please begin to see opportunities. Mm -hmm. It is wisdom that makes you to see opportunities in the midst of challenges. It is wisdom that makes you to see opportunity in the midst of challenges, in the midst of this COVID-19. Mm -hmm. 
the wisdom of God will help you to be seen treasure where others are seen trash. And that is what I want to pray for you today, that the wisdom of God will open your eyes to see. You will stop looking and start saying, in the midst of this season, some people become billionaires in this same time that others are crying. Some are experiencing what they have never experienced in terms of abundance in their life. Mm -hmm. Because their eyes see precious things. When others' eyes are seeing pressure, mm -hmm. they are seeing precious. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why we have to pray for God to open a psalm. You say in one, uh, Psalms 118, verse 8, uh, Psalms 119, verse 18. He said, open my eyes that I may see the one things in, in your, your world. world. You know, today the help that God will give us as his children is to remove the scale on our, our eyes. Yes. To be able to see. To see. All the day, enemy has focused your eyes on seeing negative things, on seeing limitation, on seeing barriers, on seeing problems. Today, God is going to remove the scale on your eyes eyes and begin to see precious things. Yes, you begin will prosper to see in your city. inheritance in God. Yes. Begin to see possibility in God. Yes. Every spiritual blindness, spiritual deafness, God is taking oh, them out of the way. Remove it by the wisdom of God. In the, in name, the name of Jesus. Jesus. We begin to pray Pala against Kata. the spirit of blindness. Mad the global eyes you have that will not allow you to yes, see. Yes, your eyes must see. God will remove those limitations. Your eyes must we see. We begin to pray against the spirit of blindness. Your eyes must see. Your eyes must see spiritual must things. See. Precious things that what your eyes cannot Precious see, things your heart cannot reach. Yes. Precious things for your finance. Precious things for tomorrow. Your tomorrow, your tomorrow will be better. Yes. Your tomorrow will be better. Yes. Any force of hell that blinded your eyes and keep you in one position, you can't see precious things in God. We remove that scale in the name of Jesus. Amen. By the blood of Jesus, we remove that scale of your eyes. Amen. Begin to see precious things in the name of Amen. He said, open my eyes that I may behold the wondrous things in your world. You know, the wondrous things are a time in his revelation. Yes. When you see the wondrous thing that God has for you about your future, you will spin. Yes. You will begin, your language will change. Yes. Your, 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 you will begin to rejoice. You will begin Malaya, to dance yaka, like somebody yaka, that finds his voice. And that's what we are talking about today. It's enough, of, it's enough of somebody telling you about your tomorrow. It's a, big, it's a high time for you to find out, to see what God is saying. Mm. The day Abraham saw what God was talking about, I will make you a father of nation. He said, count. He said, I cannot count. Mm. It's too much for me. Mm. That day, it dawned on him that I'm about to enter something great. Mm. And that's the dimension God is taking you. We pray mm. against every spiritual blindness. Yes. Anything that makes you to focus on negative. Yes. Anything that keeps you on one spot. They say, can't you see tomorrow? They say, I cannot see. That spiritual blindness is destroyed today. Amen. In the world. Enter spiritual into your blindness. place of yes, grace. Taking away Enter the into your place of Amen. blessing. Amen. Enter into your place of abundance. Amen. Enter into your place of rest. Amen. Every person that hold you captive, Begin to take your place in God. Begin to take your position in God. No more spiritual blindness. From today, you will see your future. Because your future is bright and colorful. You will get there. You will not stop halfway. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. What you don't see, you cannot see. It is what you see, you will see. In the midst of this COVID-19, there are blessings. Mm. Only if your eyes can see it. And that is why I believe God, Abraham and, Abraham and Lazarus, they went to heaven. Mm. But they went in different way. Mm. Lazarus went as a poor man. Abraham went as a rich man. I choose the rich one. Amen. And I choose to go to heaven like Abraham. Oh, and no, Shanda, I choose to go to heaven like Abraham. No, serving God does not mean poverty. No. And we pray against anything that makes us to live, you know, like slaves when we need to live like kings and priests on the earth. Amen. When we need to live like children of God, but, you know, situation and inability to see the way God see has kept us to live like mere men, to walk like ordinary mm -hmm. people, you know. Walking on the foot when when slave are riding on horses. on horses. In this city, you have your own house. Amen. In this city, you will see abundance. Amen. I stop saying we well, are going home one day. We we'll go home one day. When we get home, we we'll build our say, home. No, this is your home. Where you are now is your home. In this same city, you have your house. Your own house. Amen. 
in this same city, you have your own house. Stop saying one day I will go. When we go home, ah, we will have a house there. No. In this same land of your sojourn, you shall prosper here. As a seed of Abraham, anywhere you find their seed, they have possessions. Amen. They have possession anywhere. Look at the Jews around the world. They have possessions. You are a seed of Abraham. Amen. You must not be dispossessed. Amen. You must possess possession mentality. Amen. This land, you will not die in a rented house. Amen. As every child of God, I want them to understand we have a gene for greatness. Yes. If you are a child of God, you are born again child of God, you have a gene of greatness inside you. But we are going to pray that anything that makes us to live like the prodigal son. Mm. You know, prodigal son, he is a child of a rich man. But well, because like as a slave, slave of his, because lack of habits, discipline, lack of, lack of uh, 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 character, whatever of that has made him to live outside his real status in, mm. in, in, in his father's house. Mm. You know, many people are living that kind of life outside the real original plan of God for their life. We are praying against every spirit that works in men, that make them to live like a vagabond, that make them to live outside the things that will put them in their own trouble. Yeah. We come against that spirit. Amen. Sometimes it's a spirit of that influence people to keep them outside the things that will make them great. But I want you to know you are taking your place back in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are taking your place back in the name of Jesus. Amen. The discipline you need, the character you need, the attitude you need, God, the Holy Spirit will empower you yes, to be Lord, able to live, to be able to need. walk in that greatness. Amen. Every covenant father that has ever walked in greatness, they have certain character and attribute that make them to live in that greatness. Yes. It's not just like that. But the enemy will fight you hard to keep you outside those attributes that will keep you in greatness. Amen. And that's why we are saying every negative influence over your decision, over your, your life, we destroy them, we come against them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Holy Spirit will take over that place that the enemy has been influencing you negatively to keep you outside God's plan for your life, Amen. to keep you outside the peace of God for your life. Under and I see that I have come your way in Jesus' name. Amen. The wisdom of God is what determines the destiny of every believer. Mm. Start saying what is written. Amen. Stop saying what you are hearing. Mm. Start saying what is written. Start declaring the word of God over your life. Mm. Start declaring the promise, not the problem. Mm. Start declaring, start saying it in this city. I will not go empty and dead. I don't know how God will do it. This year, I'm not ending empty. I'm ending this year better than I began it. Let me say, it is what you are saying yesterday that you are saying today. What you will see tomorrow, with me, what you are saying today. Wisdom affects the way you speak. Mm. You start speaking your tomorrow, not your problem. Start speaking that things are going to turn around. Mm. Stop speaking the pressure. Mm. Stop speaking your frustration. Be speaking what is written over what is happening. Mm. That is wisdom. Be speaking what is, uh, are you today? Very great. Uh, it's uh, when you are saying, I don't have money, so I'm, I'm very rich. I, I, I'm very rich. But let the weak say, I'm I am rich. rich. It didn't say, let the, let the, it didn't say, let the, it didn't say, let the weak say, I'm I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Mm -hmm. It didn't say, let the weak say, I am weak. Let the poor say, I am poor. Start speaking what you want it to be, not what it is now. Mm -hmm. That's wisdom. Start speaking tomorrow than today. If that is what wisdom is, how do you contact it? Mm -hmm. How do you get this wisdom? Because there's how to contact the wisdom of God. Mm -hmm. The wisdom of God is superior to human Human wisdom, wisdom. Mm. is superior to intellectual wisdom or cultic wisdom. How do you con how do you connect it? You know, one of it is through uh, separating ourselves. He said the Bible says in the book of Proverbs eighteen verse one. Yes. You know, make us to understand through desire a man separate himself. Yes. And let me read that you have a desire for it. Yeah, you have to have a desire for it. You know, yes. you you get tired of your situation and you want a way out. You want a better life. You want a better condition. And that make you to separate yourself to start seeking for wisdom in that area of your life. It's like there is something better. I can lay hold on it, but I know something greater than this exists somewhere. And that's the reason why I'm separating myself to seek for the truth. Proverbs 18, 18 verse 1. Verse one. a man having separated himself, seek to intermingle himself with all desires. When I was 
It starts with desires. Desires. It starts with your desire. What you don't desire, what you don't desire, you don't deserve. Mm. Start desiring wisdom. Desire it. Ask God for wisdom. Ask for it. Let me, nobody was born with it. We all got it on this earth. So you ask God for it. You ask God for you desire it. Mm. Lord, I want your wisdom. Mm. That we say true a true a desire. desire. A man separate himself and seek it and intermediate with all wisdom. Mm. It begins with the desire. desire. I desire wisdom. Let me we are every one of us, we are at a level. Nobody has it all. Only God is the only wise God. There's nobody in his class. All of us operate at a measure, but we can grow in it. Amen. Wisdom is a measure. So desire it. For instance, you are not married. Desire the wisdom to get a spouse. Mm. There's wisdom to get a spouse. If you want to be a friend, you want friends, you have to show yourself friendly. friendly. You can, if you want to have a, a lady, you have to show yourself friendly. If you are among girls, don't do like this. Like somebody that is looking for a road that is lost. No. How are you, lady? Good afternoon. You say, ah, I am very shy. Then you marry your shyness. Be, or you go and hire somebody to toss a woman for you. Nobody can talk a woman for you. You have to be a friend. Be a friend to people. Open up yourself to social interaction. You don't know where you're going to meet your wife. Sometimes show kindness to people. Mm. Sometimes when you are busy doing it, was why they were fishing water, the because of fishing water for Elia. I didn't know that was the, the, the yeah. key to the husband. Mm -hmm. the, um, the daughter of um, Moses was going to fetch water. That was why? where that was where the, they met Moses, helping them. You may meet your wife where you never thought. There's wisdom to get a husband. There's wisdom to get wife. You are looking for husband as a lady. Dress well. Don't say, who will marry me? Look at me. Look at the white on my ear. As you have said, so shall it be. Stop talking like that. You are looking for husband. Dress well. Look presentable. Because you don't know who is looking at you. Nobody will come to you and say, I want to marry you. They've been looking at you. I'm a man, I can tell you from my experience. Any woman that you want to talk to, that woman, you have been seeing that woman. One day I'm going to talk to this lady. I like this lady. Any man that will talk to you tomorrow, I've been seeing you today. I've been watching you. But when you look at the say, say you just like a mark party. You wear green gold slippers. I'm wearing Claro short knicker. And you are walking about, just doing as, as if you don't have tomorrow. Nobody will marry you. So leave your desire. Desire it. Desire it. Desire wisdom. Are you married? Desire wisdom. Marital problem, fighting at home is lack of wisdom. It's not just wisdom is what you need. Peace in the home is wisdom. It's that wisdom that make it possible. Mm -hmm. There's the wisdom for a peaceful marriage. If you are beating your wife, what beating a woman will never change a woman. It's a bad medicine. You are using the wrong medicine for your home. A woman that you beat will never submit to you. You love a woman to submission. I mean, to all of you that there's wisdom to deal with every problem of life, desire it. Mm. Desire it. Lord, I ask you for wisdom. Then number two, what will be things for wisdom? Ask for wisdom. Mm. Seek God for it. It's only God that has wisdom. Mm. There's God, wisdom will make a way out of no way. Mm. It's as, as much as God has shown you all this. There's no one that will may appoint over this thing. So God, when he's giving you wisdom, it will show you way out. It can be through your thoughts. It can even be why somebody is talking around you. It will show you the way out. Mm -hmm. Lord, there's a way out of this problem. Mm -hmm. There's a way out. There's a way up. Show me the way, Lord. Pray in the spirit. Show me the way, Lord. Mm -hmm. Pray in understanding. Show me the way, Lord. There must be a way out of this problem. There must be a way out of this problem. And one thing I know, is if you ask God for wisdom, he will never call you stupid. How are you asking me? So I will give to anybody that asks me liberally. Let's ask God for wisdom. Let's ask God for wisdom. We need it because you live wiser people, you live longer. Mm. You live with peace. High blood pressure will be out of your case. There's a way out. It may not be visible to you, but it's available. There's always a way out of every challenge. Mm. It might not be visible, but it is available.
if you ask. Yeah. If you ask, God will act. Even when we saw that Daniel with the mm. the man had a dream. He forgot the dream. And he said, you must tell me the meaning of my dream and interpret it. Mm. And they went to go and ask God and God revealed it to them. Yeah, even the life of Jesus, looking at the life of Jesus in the book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 2 of the Bible says, Jesus separated himself to the mountain and he prayed all through the night. And in the day, you know, through that prayer, I believe he was able to design who and who will become his disciples. So when you go into the place of prayer, you are able to take control of your day. You are able to make a decision that are filtered through prayer, not just through your head. And that make you to escape pain. Yeah, because our eyes is deceitful. Like you are talking of marriage or all these things. You know, there are times you look at things beautiful outside. But they are not the way you stay outside, you know. The content is something else. But through prayer, God can filter your thought and filter your, your understanding, and you'll be able to make a, 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 a effective decision that will benefit you and benefit others. So room of prayer is a powerful place. It's a powerful place. Jesus did that, and we saw how he selected his disciples. He chose among those people that he feel will be able to exactly. build a pillar, yeah. Of 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 uh, of the uh, of the the move. So I believe prayer is very important. The Bible says the fervent prayer of the righteous availed much power. Availed much power. So in the place of prayer, you generate power for exploit. Generate power to free yourself. Generate power for progress. Generate power for change. Generate power to break to melt the chain around your life. So prayer is very powerful relating to wisdom. When you pray, you will God will always guide you through. Because it's a place of humility. You are simply telling God, I don't have the answer and I humble myself because I know you have it all. Show me the way out. Show me because the way out. Because the wisdom of God is concealed. Mm. Wisdom of God is hidden. It has to be revealed. God's wisdom is a hidden. It's a hidden. First Corinthians 2, 6 to, to, to 9. It said, the hidden mm. wisdom, which, was, which is hidden in mystery. Mm. Wisdom is hidden. If it's available, everybody will have had it. You can see rich people, but they're very, very foolish, like neighbor, foolish rich man, plenty like that in town. The wisdom, wisdom is hidden. It has to be revealed. Mm -hmm. But when it's revealed to you, it's released. That when it is revealed, that's why, for instance, I operate in the word of knowledge, word of wisdom. The moment the Lord gives it to me and I say it, the power to get that job done is released immediately. You've got to show me some of that is sick right now. Moment I say the power to the healing follow immediately. Mm -hmm. So wisdom and power work together. The moment I speak, this word God is released, revealed to me right now. The power is released immediately. Amen. And it's very important when we, you know, in the place of prayer, we don't talk about problem. We talk to God about it. It's Every good. situation that comes your way, don't just talk it and leave it in the state of discussion. Take it up in prayer. Take it up in prayer. He said, when we knock, he will open. When we ask, he will receive. So any concern, it's not necessary. You must go into a room, kneel down, speak it right away. Lord, I commit this matter into your hand. I don't know the way, but I know you, you have know a way. You know the way out. You yes, way he said he's able to do exceedingly abundantly above that which we you think. You are a miracle worker. Or, or, Make or a say. way for me. Show me yes, the way. Yes, so Show every moment, he said, pray without season. It did not tell you that you must go to a particular place to pray. Pray without season. As that thing is bothering you in your heart, communicate it with God in your heart. Lord, I commit this matter in your hand. I don't know what it is, but I know you are in control. You can bust into tongues. You know, any situation that you cannot handle with your understanding, you can go into the realm of the spirit, speak in tongues, because the Holy Spirit knows what you are talking about. He can take care of those challenges. So there is power in connection with prayer and wisdom. When you pray, you will drag, you will extract the wisdom of God easily. But when you talk about problem and leave it there, you leave it there. You know, it will, it will not get solution. Until we hand it over to God, God take over our situation. And so as, that's and, what and, I and, and as we round up, Amen. another point that will give us is association. Hmm. Either walk with the wise, will be wise. Proverbs 13, verse 20. Look for wise people. When you walk with a wise person, it will cancel your own foolishness. Mm -hmm. Wisdom, association, there are things you get from association that you can't get by revelation. Mm -hmm. Wise association, say the companion of fools shall be destroyed. Walk with the wise, 
look for those. If you are seeing somebody that's having a peaceful home and you're always having a problem with your own, be a friend to them. You will see how they relate. You will say, okay, I can understand now why they don't have a problem. I can understand from the way they relate with each other. When you work with the wise, the wisdom on them rub on you. Mm -hmm. Look for wise association. Look for those that lift your spirit. Be around those that speak the word, not talk about people, mm -hmm. but talk about the word of God. People that when they come around you, your, you, your, your, your love for God increase. You want to do more things for God. You want your, your, your God instinct increase. They add to you. Relationship are two ones. There are people that withdraw from you. That are those that add to you. Mm. Don't stay with those that withdraw from you. They will remove everything from you. Mm. If you have those that withdraw from you, ten of them withdraw from you. You will not. You will be empty. But you add people that add to you. People that when they come around you, you have something to godly wisdom and i believe that will like, help you yeah just about what you say like people like elizabeth look for your elizabeth the bible say when people yeah to, people to, that will that make, make you baby. to realize your dream people yes, that people has that been to the road you are trying, you are to, trying follow. to follow the bible said he, uh, mary was encouraged to meet elizabeth it's not just because they are related but they have similar experience she is trying to get what elizabeth has already gone through that experience and that will be beneficial that will be encouraging to her she will be able to communicate and the other person will understand so if you if fall you in the put it that way that way, what, what, what she's trying to say is that if you i want to get something done look for somebody that has already achieved that thing mm. and it will make your journey faster you want to get a visa for a country and somebody has gotten that visa several times instead of wasting your time go and meet them and inquire from them how do you get this done? And they will show you. If you learn how to ask questions, you will get answers. Look for those that have done what you are trying to do. Not those that have not done anything in their life and they don't advise you. It's like a single lady trying to advise you how to parent your children. They don't have a child yet, to, and they want an auntie. Let me advise you. Advise me what? What do you have? I'm not even married. Talk less of having children. I see people who want to advise somebody that they have children, 18, 20, uh, 17, and you don't have anyone. You, what advice do you have? You can talk, but thank God, but what make those that successfully raise their children? No matter the challenge you have, there's somebody that has done what you are trying to do. If you are humble, because another problem some people is pride is too much. They are too proud to, to, to ask for help. Never be too proud to ask for help. Everything you are today is what you know yesterday. What we are, what you know, is what determine who we are today determine what we know. So if we are going to become somebody better tomorrow, then we need to learn more from other people. If you are humble enough to learn, I tell you something, you you move very 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 fast you rest on the shoulder of other people mm -hmm. we want to stop it right now because we are still coming again uh we have another session this evening uh uh, uh breaking through impossible barrier by wisdom uh so we'll be doing that 7 p.m by zoom and 8 p.m by facebook will be coming your way again this evening i want to pray with you right now that the wisdom of God will come upon you. Mm -hmm. You know, um, um, Joshua lay, and now we can get a wisdom by impartation. They pray for you. Joshua prayed for most, most is prayed for Joshua, and he was filled with the spirit of wisdom. He, um, um, Paul lay prayed for um, um, Timothy, Timothy. He had wisdom. I pray for you, everyone that's watching us tonight. We stand Amen. together in agreement. Amen. My and our wife here, we agree lift up our hands yes, to pray for you amen. that the wisdom of god will come over your life amen that wisdom of god is a spirit yes he said the spirit yes. of wisdom will rest upon them amen. may the spirit of wisdom rest over you amen may the spirit of wisdom rest over amen. you may the spirit of wisdom rest over amen. you the wisdom that overturned the mountain the wisdom that see every precious thing the wisdom that stopped death and destruction amen. the wisdom that put on the path of success, 
the Bible says wisdom is profitable to direct. Mm. Wisdom makes successful. Amen. Lord, wisdom for success mm. receive in Jesus' Amen. name. This year you will end better than you began. Amen. This wisdom you will, you this year you will end better than you began. Amen. You will express your own eleven Amen. You are blessed. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We want to thank all of you for joining us to this morning. Uh, for being a part of this broadcast. We want to appreciate every one of us, all members of Destiny Church, Washington, uh, um, London. I will thank everyone that joined us from Afung, I'm Afung Peter, John Sunshine, Diana Asari, Nicholas, um, Nicholas Ann, and Pastor Jack. Thank you for your comments here. You are me, Mustafa. Thank you very much. Nicholas Priscilla, thank you. Uh, Roma. Roma Roman, thank you very much for joining us. Um, Dickness Kuyate, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, oh, God's servant, Prophet Wally Akonbi, thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you for watching this morning. And Mama Regina, Mama Paris, thank you, Ma, for watching. Tijoke Eziaku, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Um, Loma Noves, thank you. Uh, for joining us and and Marie Tok Tostos. Thank you very much uh, for joining us. And also we have here uh, um, those that join us also here we have Terry Chagi from Zimbabwe. Thank you. I share your testimony today. <laughs> Praise God. And we also have Star Root. Thank you. Uh, Sister Azem Uzochuku from Lagos. Thank you, Ma. Ademwe Wabiodu, thank you for joining. Immaculate and thank you. Christiana Richardson and Lucas Mbeki, thank you very much for joining. Uh, Palaja Doraja, sorry, if I, that's all I can call. And Matthews from New Jersey, thank you. Uh, 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 and and um, Sister Debbie, thank you. And when everyone that is joining, we thank every one of you. We appreciate you. The Lord will honor you. The Lord bless you. Please share this message and also go and watch this message on our YouTube page, Destiny Monday TV. It's also there. Please listen to this message. It will be a blessing to you. Go through it again and also share it with somebody and like the page and help us subscribe when you go to our YouTube video. God bless you. If you have been blessed, Let's get your testimony. Write us a note. And we have so many blessed, blessed books here that will be a blessing to you uh, in this place. You are the one, the power of communion is here. Listen to that message yesterday and Friday uh, to be a blessing to you. Master key to freedom. Uh, why does bad things happen to good people? And all that blessed book, they are out there on the platform. If you want them, just type that you need any of this book, they will tell you how to go about it. Amen. Yeah, just to lead someone to Christ, maybe he's out there, in, you know, want to made up his mind to be part of God's kingdom. Yes. And we just want to offer this opportunity for you to come into God's family because in this family, there is peace, there is rest. And God wants you to be part of his family. He has already paid the price for you. He has died to set you free. So just to accept that invitation and your life will not remain the same way in Jesus' name. We just want to lead you to Christ. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus come, into my life. come into my life. Wash me with your precious Wash blood. Me with your blood. Write my name in the, book of, name in the book of life. Thank you for forgiving my sins. Thank you for giving my sins. Thank you for writing my name in Thank the book of life. Thank you for writing my name in the book of life. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus, Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 That is very important because Jesus is the wisdom and the power of God. Amen. When you have wisdom, it becomes divine. You become the branches. Mm -hmm. Whatever is in him flows to you. God bless you. I look forward to seeing you tonight. We'll be live back here, 8 p.m. live UK time, which is two, uh, 3 p.m. Washington DC time. And 7 p.m. will be on Zoom. Uh, so join us for these wonderful services. We have outreach today. We are within London. Meet us at, we have a very beautiful day. The Lord has sent the sun. I'm looking outside right now. The sun is outside, uh, giving us a very wonderful day. Please meet us in the front of Defoe Library as we do. We have some outreach to do that. That one out and can partner with us uh, in this project. God bless you as you sow your seed. God bless you and look forward to see you 
for myself and my wife, for my wife and I, want to say thank you. See you uh, later in Jesus' name. Bye -bye. Receive a favor today that will last you a lifetime. You must be born again. You must be born again. There is somebody that has that view. His master, please.